Hello everyone and welcome to week 16. I'm Heather Brandon, your course instructor, and this is actually our last week of the fall semester. Congratulations. I know you've put in a lot of hard work to make it this far. This will actually be my last lecture for the course for fall. You will be taking a look at the group presentations by your colleagues, so I'm excited to see those and to take a step back. But before you do that, I just have a few announcements and things so that we can wrap up the semester. First, if you haven't done your student opinion questionnaire already, please get that done. We do take this feedback very seriously and want to get input from everyone, so please complete that. Readings for the week, there is none, hooray. However, we do have a few assignments due this week, so please pay attention to the deadlines for those so you can get these last things submitted. The first thing you need to do is to watch three group presentations done by your colleagues. So I'm sure you're pretty familiar with your presentation. You will need to watch three additional presentations out of the five. So there is one that you will not be watching. So for the options, take a look at different topics that are of interest to you that maybe you don't have as much background on and watch those presentations. Please do that by December 11th. Then you will need to complete your discussion responses by midnight on December 11th so that the communications manager has enough time to go back and respond to your questions and comments and thoughts and ideas and whatnot. And then the last thing you need to do is the survey monkey. And I have the link on the checklist for this week and also as part of this slideshow. And that is all right, as far as the group presentation discussions go, you will need to comment on three groups presentations. This assignment will be worth 30 points. So you will get 10 points for each of the three posts for a maximum total of 30 points. Please refer back to that class participation rubric. That's what I'm going to be using to score your posts. Please make sure to respond to all parts of the group's prompt. I know some groups have broken it down into different pieces and they have a spot to um, put your response in there. Also, please make sure that you are starting your comment with your name and that first and last name and then a colon uh, so that we know who is contributing that idea, thoughts, etc. So you will need to go to three different group pages and then if you're not using the comment at the very bottom of the screen, you will actually need to type in your response. Actually, let's take a second and show, show you what I mean by that. All right, so here is our class wiki space that we set up for our group presentations. If you go over here, you can see the different options for the different groups. Some people actually have a separate page for their discussion, so you would want to go to that page to contribute to their discussion. But let's say, okay, the comprehension group has done a couple of different things. I'm not sure if they've actually done their... Um, prompt yet or not for their discussion. It doesn't look like they have set up their, oh, here it is. Um, so here is where it looks like we would go ahead and um, click to add our comment. So I'm just going to type in my comment here and then we'll go back and make sure that that got put up. Let's see. All right, there it is. So pretty straightforward on how to do that. If you are using a discussion post that has been embedded the way that Stephanie has embedded their discussion post on their comprehension page, you'll just go ahead and go um, to the topic and then type it in there. Pretty easy to follow. 
Also down here um, is, is another place where you can comment, but I know um, like our early literacy group here has a separate discussion page and they actually want you to type in here um, to the comments. So what you're going to need to do is make sure that you enable the editing, right? And then go down here and then put your name and a colon and say your comment. Don't forget to include your name in front of your comment like this. So and then you want to make sure that you save. So you might see a variety of different formats for how people have set up their discussions and I wanted to give them the flexibility to do that. So for this group you're just typing directly on their page whereas other groups may have actually embedded a discussion. So that is your first participation activity for the week is going to three different groups, viewing their full presentation, and then completing the uh, commentary for their discussion forum. And just a reminder, you need to do this by Wednesday, December 11th, so that the communication manager can do their final piece by responding to comments before December 13th. So communication managers, don't forget you have until December 13th to respond to those posts. All right, Survey Monkey. I have a Survey Monkey for you. This is more of an informal survey as opposed to the student opinion questionnaire being very formal. And through the department here, I'm really seeking your honest and candid feedback to improve the course for the next semester that it's offered online. So that's only 10 questions, open-ended, but it asks you about things like how the course is structured and how or what you think of the readings and the lectures and the assignments and various things. So it is anonymously done and I do want to keep it that way. However, I know that there are 18 people in the class this semester. So if I have 18 people who've taken the survey, I would like to reward the whole class with 10 out of 10 bonus points in the participation category of the gradebook. So please do that survey and if everyone completes it and we have 100% completion, everyone will get 10 points. All right, going back to our learning goals for this course, we had a lot. First was to be able to select and administer appropriate literacy assessment tools and techniques for each of the components of research-based literacy instruction. So if you think over the course of our semester. You know, we started with early literacy skills, phonological awareness, oral language, moved into phonics, word recognition, decoding, spelling, orthography, writing, comprehension, fluency, many facets of fluency, comprehension. So we really did look at all of those different components of research-based literacy instruction and learned about a variety of assessments. And you're going to learn about even more assessment tools and techniques from your colleagues in the presentation. So I think we definitely hit that goal. The next goal is to develop, to develop our knowledge of the types and uses of assessments across the continuum of literacy skill components, including informal, curriculum embedded, norm reference, criterion referenced, um, formative, screening, diagnosis, all these different types of assessments. So hopefully your assessment familiarity increased as well as the realm of assessments available at your disposal as well. I think most of our assessments were informal, either structured or unstructured, and mostly they were um, criterion-based assessments versus norm reference, but we did use that Hasbrook and Tyndall to bring in a norm referencing component. So in any case, I think we did use a lot of different types of assessments as well. Third, to analyze and interpret the results, and that's exactly what you did on your weekly assessment reflections. So very, very good work on those, synthesizing the information and really thinking critically about the assessment data that you gathered. 
And then lastly, using assessment results to make informed instructional recommendations. So the purpose of this course really isn't to plan intervention yet. That's coming in 581. But in doing the assessments and diagnostics that we did, you should be able to make a recommendation for the student's area of need and what they would need support in. So you gave the core phonics survey, and maybe you found that they need help with vowel sounds in CVC words, or maybe you found that they struggle with long vowel spelling patterns. So you should be able to identify an area of need now, which seems like from your WAPRs you've been able to do that. So I would say we met all of our learning goals that we set out to accomplish. Hopefully you also accomplished your personal learning goals as well. All right, are we there yet? Yes, we are. It's the end of the semester. Please make sure you get those final two assignments done, the discussion posts, commenting on your colleagues' group presentations, and then also the survey monkey. Those are the two things I need you to do this week, and then I will leave you alone and send you off to your next semester of courses and wish you well in that. So to launch you, my last launch of the semester, I have this Japanese proverb which says, better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher. And just to affirm you for being that great teacher, I've seen a lot of really strategic and intentional planning of these assessment sessions and relationship building with students and thinking about the student first and foremost and targeting their needs and trying to teach them strategies. So definitely continue to be that great teacher and remember why you are in this program and, and why you are in this profession and that it is so important to have great teachers out there in education today. So thank you, thank you for a wonderful semester. Please, please complete the Survey Monkey so I can get your thoughts and use them to directly improve this course. I think this has been one of the best semesters because of feedback provided from other uh, students from from before, from past semesters. So I really do welcome that feedback and hope to get your honest input. So good luck with these last few assignments. Let me know if you need anything as always and have a happy winter holiday break with family and friends.